How's it going everyone? It's Ryder here and welcome back for another episode of which one will make the cut. Doesn't everyone just love SNES tracks? Oh, you don't? Well too bad, cause today we're talking about them, specifically Crap Lake and Forgotten Castle. I hope you all are ready, cause this will be a bumpy ride since these two tracks are set in completely different atmospheres, one being hot and the other being a cold piece of crap. Before we get started, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. We have recently just surpassed 3k subs, and our next goal is to reach 4k. By the way, while we are on the topic of 3k subs, in case you were wondering, yes I am making a special video as we speak. It's going to take me a little bit of time though since I'm making this video extra special for you all as a big thanks for the 3k accomplishment. With all of that out of the way, Let's talk about SNES Vanilla Lake and SNES Bowser Castle. First things first, as per usual with the series, I will start by talking about other track candidates and why these are being discussed in the community. Also, I will be relating a lot of this discussion towards Marker Tour and its tracks, since all of the Booster Course Pass courses come from Tour. All of the SNES tracks that are currently in Marker Tour are Mario Circuits 1 through 3, Donut Plains 1 through 3, Ghost Valley 1 and 2, Koopa Beach 2, Chocolate Island 1 and 2, Vanilla Lake 1 and 2, and Rainbow Road. Taken from that list of tracks I just mentioned, Mario Circuit 3, Donut Plains 3, and Rainbow Road are already in Mario Kart Deluxe and the Booster Course Pass. Since those tracks are already in Deluxe, I'm just not going to discuss the other variants of Donut Plains and Mario Circuit since it seems very unlikely they will come with already a variant of each being in the game. That leaves us with the Ghost Valley tracks, Koopa Beach 2, and Chaco Islands. Since this video is strictly based on the Vanilla Lake and Bowser Castle tracks debate, I will save the talk for Vanilla Lake later on. And since there is so much to talk about here, I'm just going to refer to every variant of these tracks as it is a singular track and also not discuss older remakes of these courses before Mario Kart Tour. With all that out of the way, let's talk about these other track candidates. The first is the Ghost Valley tracks. I feel like there isn't really much to say about these ones other than they are pretty similar to GBA Boo Lake which is already in the Boosted Course Pass. Also, during the time of this recording, we are due to be getting Ghost Valley 3 soon in Marker Tour, since it was data mined in the game about a year ago. So I'm not sure Nintendo will bother taking this track into consideration, but you really don't ever know. Next up we have is Koopa Beach 2. I feel like out of all the other candidates for this final SNES spot, this one feels like a more likely choice than something like Ghost Valley. However, we might be getting Koopa Cape during this wave too, so it could overlap that being a choice, but I'm not sure if Nintendo will care. Since I did mention Koopa Cape, make sure to check out the last episode since I discussed that track along with a few other Wii tracks. Our last potential option for an SNES course other than the two we'll be mainly focusing on is Chaco Island. This track actually seems to be the most likely option compared to Koopa Beach 2 or the Ghost Valley courses, mainly because its look hasn't been used in other Mario Kart 8 Deluxe tracks kind of. If you really do want to count Chaco Mountain, I guess you could, but even while they have similar aesthetics, it isn't exactly the same look if that makes sense. Which is why I put all these courses here instead of the main discussion of this video, since there isn't really much evidence of any of these ones making it in the final spot, and in some cases, some of the tracks I just mentioned have an even more unlikely chance because of similar aesthetics, or have already been included in Mario Kart Deluxe or the Booster Course Pass. My goodness, that was a lot to speak about. Anyways, let's get talking about Vanilla Lake and Bowser Castle. First, let's discuss Vanilla Lake. Vanilla Lake is set in an icy wonderland filled with sharp turns and icy pathways. And that's basically it. Yeah, there isn't really much to say about this track really apart from both its first and second variants being just a basic circle and honestly, it is just a very boring track. The music is pretty standard and simple and as we usually see with the most SNES courses, but it still gets the job done. Both the first and second Vanilla Lakes have never been recreated before up until Mario Kart Tour's versions. I know many will comment and say, but Ryder, they were also remade in Super Circuit. That may be true, but every SNES track was remade in that game, and also every SNES track put in the game was basically the same as the original counterparts. Now comparing the Tour versions to the original, there honestly isn't much difference here either, besides the obvious graphic improvements. And that's all I got for Vanilla Lakes. Very simple tracks that honestly don't interest me very much, and I'm betting many could agree with me on that. Our second track is Bowser Castle. This track has a very similar tone and style to how some of the GBA Bowser Castle's look and feel. SNES Bowser Castle has three different variants. The first is the simple layout one, while the second has that iconic dead end route, and the third is the hardest one to race through with a ton of jumps to traverse through. 
The music has some really nice bass, or bass, I don't really know how to say it, even for an SNES track. Just like with Vanilla Lake, there isn't really much else to talk about here. This track has never been remade before in any future Mario Kart installment, and is also the last SNES series of tracks to never be remade. However, Mario Kart Tour may want to step into that position, because the track is sort of data mined. Just like the Daisy Circuit situation from the last episode, Bowser Castle has been potentially data mined as a ID skip theory. The ID skip theory is basically when an ID is skipped in Marker Tour's files. It typically means something should be in between the other two. And it has led many people to speculate it will be Bowser Castle. Which I guess could make sense because Marker Tour sure loves its SNES tracks. Now we get onto the big question this video is trying to answer. Which one will make the cut? Honestly, I don't really care what SNES track gets in. All are very simple and are just kind of boring to race through. What makes people speculate it could be Vanilla Lake or Bowser Castle is because we haven't seen those tracks before on a console Mario Kart other than of course the SNES. And there's some evidence pointing to one of these two to come. The evidence I speak of is the Coconut Mall board showcasing Vanilla Lake as one of the advertisements. Honestly, don't go and believe this meaning it's definitely coming. Remember what I said earlier? All of the Booster Course Pass tracks are ported from Mario Kart Tour and both Coconut Mall and Vanilla Lake are in Mario Tour, as well as Dino Dao Jungle, which is also on another advertisement. Other than this evidence, as some would call it, there is no other evidence pointing to this track to return. And I really, really hope it doesn't. It's so bland and boring and is way too similar to GBA Snowland. Having a track that is just a basic circle would not make sense to me for Nintendo to bring into the Booster Course Pass. Now we get to Bowser Castle. Many think this one is coming after the unfortunate news of no DS Airship Fortress course coming to the Booster Course Pass. We desperately need a Bowser related track for the Booster Course Pass. Heck, even the entire Mark Ray Deluxe game if you really want to go there. All we have for a retro Bowser track is 3DS Neo Bowser City. That's it. Like I mentioned earlier, SNES tracks are not the most exciting courses to see return in any instance from Mario Kart. However, it sure as heck would be super cool and super hyped to see a Bowser Castle get its remake. It so definitely deserves. Which one would I personally pick? I'd either go with 2 or 3 for a Bowser Castle. 2 just has that iconic dead end section which would be funny if they kept that in the potential Booster Course Passport. Or if they wanted they could choose Bowser Castle 3 which has a pretty interesting layout and I would consider to be as our GBA Bowser Castle for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Of course since we most likely don't have any other GBA course coming to the Booster Course Pass besides Sunset Wilds, I think for us GBA Bowser Castle fans we would appreciate having any SNES Bowser Castle as an alternative. My my pick goes towards one of the Bowser Castle tracks making the last SNES course debut, or if Koopa Cape doesn't get in then I'd love Koopa Beach 2 instead. And that concludes today's episode of which one will make the cut. I hope you all enjoyed today's episode, and let me know down below which track you think will make it to the Booster Course Pass. Also, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already to help support the channel. Every bit of support that you all can give I am very grateful for. Quick shoutouts to the current members of the channel. For our Wiggler clan, we have Willow Games and the KFET, and for our Frenzy Legends members, we have KChads575 and Starlord Turnbull. Thank you for your continued amount of support towards the channel, it means a ton to me. If you would like to become a member, consider becoming one using the link in the description below, or click the join button. I'll see you all next weekend for the next episode, peace out, stay safe, and goodbye.